Enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. This video is really kind of finishing off the exterior of the car. So by the end of the day, I'll probably have about 99% of the exterior done. So the only bits outstanding, I've got to refit the front and rear windows, headlamps needs to go in, the grill needs to go on. I did manage to get a grill in the end off eBay, it was slightly more expensive, but none of the big mini parts retailers had them in stock anymore and I found the wheel arches. So the wheel arches are gonna go on. I'm gonna rivet these uh, end pieces on the grill. And one of the viewers, subscribers mentioned it actually about how, I was gonna f how I'm gonna fix the grill. For the moment, I'm just gonna put it in with stainless steel self tappers, but I need to order a riven up gun to fit the mirror on the near side where I put the door skin on. So when I do that, I might see if I can get small enough riven nuts to um, put basically bolts in the front grill. So riven up the front panel, put bolts in, it's a little bit more secure. And the self tappers, as you well know with minis, the holes just get larger and larger and the screws become loose. So <clears throat> I've got pretty much everything I need. I'm short of a few bits. I won't be able to fit the spot lamps on the front because I've run out of smooth right and I need to paint the brackets for the spotlights. Aside from that, I think I've got everything. I'm, in two minds about the wheel arches, so I've always said right from the start, I'm going to keep this car standard. I would kind of like to put some really nice fiberglass wooden picket arches in body colour on there, but I've kind of top end of my budget at the moment. I need to stop spending money, so I might leave that for a future mod. So we're just going to go with a standard mini special arches in black, which is what it would have come with from the factory. So you will see some almond green mini, mini 35s, uh, where the arches have been painted. They never come out of the factory painted like that. Well, I think they did on the 35 actually, but not the mainstream Rover Coopers. Right then, that's that grill done. I actually made hard work of that. It's one of those things where you really, you got a factor in twice as long as you think it's gonna be, then add a little bit as well. Uh, I, I do appreciate there will be some people that point out that that's not the way the grill is meant to go on. So you're meant to put the main middle bit of the grill in. That's meant to be screwed on. And then you have smaller screws which hold on the, I think they're called the mustache ends. But obviously you'd have seen with me, I've riveted them, riveted them onto the grill and then I've screwed the grill on afterwards. So the grill has four um, self tapper through the top and it has a self tapper each side into the front panel. I did something different which is really useful to know if you're putting a new grill on a new front end to get it lined up perfectly so let me show you what I mean so on PL this frustrates me a little bit the fitment of the grill is not great there's a big gap basically it doesn't fit very well and there's not much adjustment you can do. Exactly the same on Vinny. You can see the bonnet part doesn't line up with the mustache end. So you might have seen me, I've got my wife to help. So what I actually done was hold the grill in place with the bonnet shut. And then I got Angie to pull the bonnet, lifted up the bonnet, and then I marked the holes where the grill goes. And the grill is actually, if you were just lining it up with the front panel, is probably about three or four mil higher than you would expect it to go. So I'll lift the bonnet and show you in a moment, but the self tappers are higher than you would normally expect, but that gets the grill fitted almost perfect. So there's not a great big gap at the bottom. The ends of the grill meet up really nicely with the mustache ends. This side, very, very slightly out compared to the other side, but there's only so much movement you've got there. But it's worth doing it like that. So I held it in place with the bonnet shut. I got Angie to pull the bonnet, lift the bonnet up. And then while holding it in place, I marked where the holes go 
hold the grill on. So maybe it's not as easy to see on the camera, but these screws for the self tappers are higher in the front panel than you would normally than you would expect them to be. So they're right at the very top of the lip, and that gave me the right clearance on the grill. If I put them where I thought they were meant to go, there would have been that big gap there. So I'm quite pleased with that. And you look at the grill ends as well. So again, if I lined them up with the wing, um, they would be sticking out too far and they wouldn't line up with a bonnet properly. Now we're almost done under the bonnet. I still haven't got my Evans waterless coolant yet. So I've still got a couple of brackets to fit on for the radiator and I need to pit, fit the slam panel catch.
done. I did try trimming up this rubber, but it just, it looked uneven and looked a mess. Um, the only thing I do notice, and I had the same on Vinny actually. So they're the standard width arches. Obviously I've got the wider tires on the standard width wheels, which are four and a half J, but they just sit in a bit too much. They want a little space on the back. I was just wondering as well, so on MPI Minis in 1997, they introduced this extra bit of plastic here, which covers up sort of the end of the bumper and the wheel arch join. I just wonder what it's for. I wonder whether it's something to do with stopping you cutting yourself on this return lip here, um, some sort of safety. What was interesting though, is they're marked left hand and right hand. And oddly enough, this is the way they're meant to go. I'm almost certain of it. This side is marked left side <laughs> and the other side is marked right side or right hand. So they're, according to that, they're the wrong way round, but that I'm 99% sure that's how they're meant to fit. And as I say, I, I think they're there to stop you cutting yourself on this return edge but if anyone knows let me know let's get the front wheel arch on now and see what that From looks like on the other side um i've put a, just a dab of super glue here and there on the back of that rubber between the rubber and the wheel arch and just because on the back at the really back bit is a little bit loose so um obviously the the rivets hold most of it in but there's just yeah, just belt some braces, bit of super glue I don't, don't think does any harm. Ah, and as you'd have seen me with a heat gun, these bits at the bottom, um, they're not best quality, these wheel arches, but they just, they don't quite mould properly, so just apply a little bit of heat and uh, it works a treat. Right, I've had a couple of near misses there. I think I need to mask it up.
say 